Shalom. I'm the brother Kadam Malak. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Baka, Kodash. Double honors to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, who told me this truth. I want to say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Okay. And uh, this basically, um, it's just a quick walkthrough. Okay. I just want to read and um, bring out a few scriptures, man, and um, and break a little bit, a little bit at a little a little down at a time all right as i go so um this is the book of luke chapter 23 verse 3 it says and pilate asked him saying art thou the king of the jews and he answered him and said thou sayest then said pilate to the chief priest and to the people I find no fault in this man. And they and they were the more fierce, saying, He stirred up the people, teaching throughout all Jewry, beginning from Galilee to this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man were a Galilean. And as soon as he knew that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who himself also was at Jerusalem at that time. And when Herod saw Yahushai, he was exceeding glad, for he was desirous to see him of a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he had hoped to see some miracle done by him. Then he questioned with him many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and scribes stood vehemently accused him. All right, the scribes, uh, these Israelites, man, these uh, wicked ass sellouts, man, accused him. And Herod, with his men of war, set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in gorgeous robe and sent them again to Pilate. And the same day, Pilate and Herod were made friends together. For before they were at enmity between themselves. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and rulers and the people, said unto them, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I have I have an exam him, examined him before you, have found no fault in this man, touching those things whereof ye accused him. I right, see, I right, see. How I did nothing. Okay, and these fucking wicked niggas, these two thirds, man, here they come accusing him of some shit he didn't do. All right, bearing fault, bearing false witness, man. All right, you fucking wicked ass niggas, man. You two thirds, man. Today, it says, and behold, I have examined him before, have found no fault in this man touching those things whereof he accused him. All right. So even even uh Pilate, who was an Edomite, said, "Hey, I haven't, I have no. Hey, he hasn't done anything, man. That you're accusing him of." Fifteen. It says, "No, nor ye, nor yet Herod. All right, for I sent him, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. All right." I would therefore chasten him and release him. All right. So um, this fucking wicked ass um, Edomite, um, Pilate, all right, and Herod, they're gonna receive a good judgment. They're gonna receive a great judgment, man. All right. Even though uh, they said he didn't do anything worthy of death, but basically they were gonna chasten him, they were gonna beat him and let him go. They're still gonna receive judgment for that, man. Okay. It says, I will therefore chasten him and release him. For of necessity, he must release one unto them at the feast. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man and release unto us Barnabas. All right. It says, Who for certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast into prison. All right. So this wicked ass um, nigga. 
who was causing havoc throughout the city and murdering, they they was rather um that they release him, all right, and take your house shot, man. All right, this low life, this damn low life bar uh, barbers. It says, and they cried out all at once, saying, "Away with this man and release unto us Barnabas, who for a certain sedition made in the city, and for murder was cast into prison." All right, which his judgment should have been murder. All right, for murdering. But what Esau liked to do, he liked to lock, lock people away. They put his ass in prison. It says, Pilate, therefore, willing to release Yahweh, spake again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why? What evil have he done? All right, so they, 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 they were sending, up, sending Yahweh up to death, man. Fucking two thirds, man, just being some hating ass niggas, man. It says, I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chasten him and let him go. All right? So, hey, they said, What? What? I'm just going to beat him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified. So, they let these fucking niggas, two thirds, man, just kill him, kill him, kill him, man. Yeah, and the Lord didn't do no wrong, man. And that's the same way they feel about us today, man. It says, And the voices of them and the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it shall be as they required. And they released unto them him for the sedition of murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired. But he delivered Yahweh to their will. And as they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simeon and Syrian, 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 coming out of the country, and on on him that laid cross, that he might bear it after Yahweh shot. And there followed him a great company of people, and of women, which also be well limited, limited him. But Yahweh shot turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem. Weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, and the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Yeah, because um in the time of um seventy AD, um when these uh Romans they start to ramshack shit, and it was basically like a famine. And what? Uh, women were eating their children. They were eating their young. So, so you have to say, hey, don't weep for me. Weep for yourself, man. You got trouble coming. It says, then shall they begin to say to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there were also two other male factors led with him to be put to death. And when they were coming to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him. And the male factors, one on the right hand and one on the left hand, and one on the left, then said Yahweh, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided, uh, derided him, derided meaning to make fun of, saying, he saved others, let him save himself, if he be the anointed, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, if thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a subscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. All right. Yeah, yeah, that Greek, Latin, and Hebrew, man. But yeah, we spoke Hebrew, but hey, at the time of um, Rome, they spoke a lot of Latin and uh, the Greek for the Grecians. Okay. It says, um, and one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him saying, if thou be Hamashiach, save him, save thyself and us. 
But the other answered and rebuked him, saying, Does not thou fear Yahweh, seeing thou art in the same con condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. All right, he said what? Yahweh Shai, he, he did nothing, man. We, we did evil, and we, we, we get our reward for what we've done, but this man hath done nothing, man. And he said, and he said unto Yahweh Shai, Lord, remember me when thou comest into the kingdom. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Verily, I say unto thee, Today shall thou be in, with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth unto the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the, and the veil of the temple was in rent in the midst. And when Yahweh Shai had cried with a loud voice, he had said to the father, father, Into thy hands I command my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost, which is the spirit. So he gave up the spirit. Okay? But with those men, hey, uh, hey um, one of those men repented, man. All right, at the last minute, he repented, man. Okay, he believed in the Lord, man. And what the Lord said, what? Uh, and you, and you gonna be in the kingdom with me, man? All right, but this is this is two thirds of our people, man. They're sending our Lord up to death, man. Okay, and these um, fucking Romans, man. They mocked the Lord, man. Okay, they pierced the Lord, man. But guess what? The Lord said, what? Man? When when the Lord come on that chariot, man. When he make his second coming. Everybody's gonna wail. Everybody's gonna be afraid. Two thirds that sent them up to um to death, man. And those Romans was pierced them. All right. So those same Romans who pierced the Lord, but, hey, the Lord is gonna come back and, and, and get his, man. All right. He's gonna come back and put those Romans to death. Which those Romans, they're probably back in the reincarnation. They're probably in the military force. Some damn police officer, some shit like that. Back in the same lot. But the Lord is gonna come get you, man. All right, then you two thirds, man. The Lord gonna come back and do a lot of killing, man. All right, but th these are the minds of these fucking niggas, man. You fucking Israelites. You hate righteousness and you hate the Lord. You hate the Lord now. That's why you don't want to repent, man. You hated the works of the Lord, man. All right. So yeah, man. I didn't want to make this long. Just wanted to, uh, just a quick walkthrough. All right. Uh, Lord willing, there was some uh, edification came out of this, you know. And man, hey, the Lord is going to come back and uh, get busy, man. Okay. So, hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises. I'm in glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Makakwadash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles, the great millstone, will well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful of the land. All right. Shalom.